I had a cousin, and I came up here to spend the summer. I used to come up here to spend the summers. And then after I graduated from high school and I went to Morgan for two years, I came up here really to look for a uh, job in the job situation. Mm -hmm. But I got up here in the state. State Brook Avenue when I first moved out here. And at that time, particular time, I had nine children. I had his, mine, and ours. So this is my, like my second husband. He had children, I had children. And then we had children together. So we had one big happy family, was nine of us. And we lived on St. Brook Avenue, the big house. We had a nice big yard and nice big place for everybody to play. So um, it was quiet. We knew all the neighbors. Everybody got along because everybody, as they say, if you come to Pasco, everybody is related. <laughs> somebody out here is related to somebody. Mm -hmm. So it was more like a family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My children very seldom went. We had the park. We still had the park there and mm -hmm. went down there. But most of the time we had the swings and games right in my yard because I had a big yard down there. The children went to school at um, J.W. Catherine. And then they went to uh, Pepper, and then they went to Bartram. This neighborhood, we had Fells Napta, the Fells building. They, they made the uh, soap. Uh, most of the people in this neighborhood, that's where they worked at Fells Napta, and um, where else did they work around here? A Westinghouse on Elmwood Avenue, and Tobacco Factory. Tobacco Factory is right up here on Greenway Avenue in the... Um, 68, 6800 block of Greenway Avenue. Some of them walked and some of them had cars. Most of them walked because everything was right around oh, this right community. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I've been at uh, First Baptist Church of Pasco for over 50 years since I moved uh, back here. And, and also we do have, uh, um, well he was our neighbor, Reverend Dr. Wilson Good. He was the mayor of Philadelphia. And he lived right in the next block up there, the 6900 block. Reverend Good is one of the uh, pastors there at uh, First Baptist Church in Pasco. He still comes back in the neighborhood and try to help people in the neighborhood. Too. So he was, we did have, when he was the mayor of Philadelphia, we had a little bit more peace and quietness out here. Um, who were the community leaders and what were they like? Uh, community leaders around here. We had, um, Audrey Allen, she's about the um, the older one living around right here now. We had them as uh, Paul Moore. He was young, but he was a community leader. And there was uh, oh boy, I can't think of uh, Mr. Thompson. He lived on um, Saybrook Avenue. Theodore Thompson. He was a community leader. And who else? Grundy. Uh, Renee Grundy. Renee. Mm-hmm. Renee Grundy. Also my next door neighbor. She's uh, elderly now, but she's sick. Uh, Gloria Kellum. What have changed most for you over the years, the good and the bad? Uh, the, good, the good about it, we still have people in this neighborhood that have lived out here for a long time and we still get along with each other. And I think most, the bad part of it now, the even we still it, are the Paschal homes, but we still have people that, who have lived out here for years, and they're in the Paschal homes. But now you have the younger generation. Some people down there now I don't even know that live down in the Paschal homes now. But that seems like that's a um, it's a lot of confusion and a lot of. Um, New people have moved in that we don't know. The younger so, generation still live out, mo I say some of them, okay. still live here, live out in this neighborhood. And they have children, and their children are going to uh, school now. Yeah. Okay. So some of them still still live in this area. What did the neighborhood think when past school apartments were being built? Well, some of them lost their homes, but you know, they weren't particularly satisfied with it because some. Some of the people, they had to destroy some of their homes in order to build the uh, past home. And who were your friends? Oh, uh, my friends were just about everybody. Um, I knew it. Mm -hmm, in the block, <laughs> the Harrises, the, um, um, one of my neighbors, his son goes to my church now, and he's a deacon. Um, uh, the guys, because they're part of my family and also friends out here. And uh, 
Stuttervant family that lived there, some of the Stuttervants that live out here, and some of them still do.